is um, you strike me as the kind of guy who's kind of good at everything with a bit of hand-eye coordination involved. Are you good at pool? Uh, yeah, I play a little bit. I used to play a lot of snooker when I was younger, so me and my brother we used to play quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, I play a little bit, but uh, a bit out of practice at the minute, but uh, found my eye quite quick in there, so I'm hoping to take me on tournament down tonight. Another testimonial event for you, you know, plenty of the lads are turning out tonight. I guess that, you know, that's one of the more important aspects, that, you know, you get a lot of your teammates supporting you and coming down, you know, showing you that they're there for you when you need them. Yeah, it's unbelievable, really. I mean, obviously my teammates, you know, to, to come to events and support it, it's, you know, it's what attracts the fans to come as well, so, you know, but I've been really humbled by the support and getting from the supporters and, you know, just rugby league generally, really, so, you know, it's going really well so far and, um, you know, really appreciative that, uh, you know, this, the shooters bar have put this pool night on, so yeah, it's going well so far and, like you say, plenty of the lads have come as well. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's, um, to me, it's pretty evident that the reason the boys are so successful over the last few years is because they get along so well. Um, as you can see, things like this, Danny just asked us to train the other day if we could all turn up and um, everyone that could has turned out. So. Um, Little things like that make me think that you know, it's a good place to be and, and um, I'm going to make plenty of friends here. Yeah, uh, another good thing uh, for the team and uh, we get to know all the boys outside of training, so it's good. What have, um, you know, what have you been doing since so far since you joined the runners? Tell us a little bit about how, how the other guys have kind of welcomed you into the group, so to speak. Yeah, I've just been uh, trying to settle in, getting a house, um, sorting out yeah, where to live and a few of the boys would take me out for lunch and just get to know the place and how they how they run stuff at the club. So yeah, it's been good and yeah, hello there. How have you gone in the pool comp tonight then? Not very good. <laughs> I thought I was all right back home, but um, no, I'm not very good actually. So I'm hopeless. Anybody stood out amongst the, the Leeds Rhinos boys that has been particularly good? Well, I know why Danny wanted us to come in now because he's good at it and he's um, he's killing us all. So. Yeah, they're, they're settling in really well. You know, we've got quite a, a strong group that have been together for a, for a lot of years now. So it's you know it's probably sometimes hard to, to get in there, but you know all the lads are really welcoming and, and, and Joel and Mitch and you know Joe Vickery have set, settled in really well to the to the squad and you know we're excited to have them and you know, I think the lads will be able to strengthen the team for next year. You, you know, you find yourselves going into another season as champions. You know, does, does that pressure ever seem to you know? come into your mind at all or is it just something you've you know grown to be used to you know you hold the title you want to keep hold of it yeah I mean it's something that we've probably become accustomed to really now and obviously there's a little bit of added pressure being champions you know everybody wants to knock you off your perch but um, I think it's something we um, you know we obviously lift our you know game when, when it's like that really and that, you know I hope we can do that again next season there's going to be a, you know a lot of challenges thrown at us again but you know I'm sure our group can handle it